I want to show you a video and I'm not going to give any context before we watch it. I'll roll the clip. Houses seem to have reached a plateau and there is reasonable expectancy that prices will decline. This is not some flim flam publication, this is Time magazine. Now I'm not here to convince you why real estate is good, you all know that. Houses cost too much for the mass market. Today's average price is out of reach for two thirds of all buyers. That's Science Digest. We'll do one more. The goal of owning a home seems to be getting beyond the reach of more and more Americans. This is Business Week. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of gloom and doom, isn't it? There's no way house prices can keep going up. Houses cost too much for two thirds of all buyers. And the goal of owning a home seems more like a dream rather than a reality. Huh. I bet you if you were to read those three statements to somebody who's trying to buy a house right now, they would completely agree. So then you might be thinking, well, okay, the most logical next step is to not buy a house right now and to wait until the market corrects itself. But I blacked out the entire point of that video. That's right, I tricked you. Sorry, but gotta make a point. Here is the unedited clip. Houses seem to have reached a plateau and there is reasonable expectancy that prices will decline. This is not some flim flam publication, this is Time magazine in 1947. Now I'm not here to convince you why real estate is good, you all know that. Houses cost too much for the mass market. Today's average price is out of reach for two thirds of all buyers. The average price at the time was $8,000. That's Science Digest, 1948. Do you think anyone back then now wishes they bought then? Or the kids of those people wish they'd bought? We'll do one more. The goal of owning a home seems to be getting beyond the reach of more and more Americans. This is Business Week in 1969. They consistently get it wrong. And why do they get it wrong? Because if they had a headline that says, once again, folks, real estate prices are chugging along and they're slowly and gradually and surely and inexorably going up, that would be boring. That doesn't sell copy. Ease. Copies. Kind of a wake-up call, isn't it? In 2050, they're going to be pulling articles from today like this and this and this and laughing at us because we were complaining that the national median house price was $375,000. Hit the like button for graphs. Look at this graph. I just did a video on whether or not the housing market is gonna crash. The short summary is it doesn't matter because even if you had the worst timing in real estate history and bought in 2007 and sold in 2009, you would still be better off than the person who in 2004 said, ooh, house prices are really getting steep. There's probably a crash coming, so I'm not gonna buy. That person in 2004 lost all of the gains between 2004 and 2007, and then when it dropped in 2009, it dropped back to 2004 prices. So the person who waited had the same consequences of the person who had the worst timing in real estate history. I want that to sink in. Time in the market is better than timing the market. I'm gonna say it again. Time in the market is better than timing the market. And that's where I'm gonna leave you for today. As usual, please subscribe. It's free, it doesn't send you emails, it just lets YouTube know, hey, I kind of liked this guy's video and I wouldn't be butt hurt if I have to watch another one. So thanks for watching and subscribing. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you next time.